the most difficult property of our universe to understand is time. Time is the continued sequence of existence and events that occurs in an apparently irreversible succession from the past to the present and into the future. The physical nature of time is addressed by general relativity with respect to events in space time. The collision of two particles, the explosion of supernova, the arrival of rocket ship, all are the example of such events. Six, five, three, two, one, zero, the time required for light to travel a specific distance is the same for all observers, as demonstrated by Michelson and Molle. 3D of general relativity doesn't explain the nature of time for extremely small intervals where quantum mechanics holds. Newton believed that absolute time was imperceptible and could only be understood mathematically. According to Newton, humans are only capable of perceiving relative time, which is a measurement of perceivable objects in motion like moon or sun, and from these moments we unfold the passage of time. In special theory of relativity, Einstein determined that time is relative. In other words, the rate at which time passes depends on your frame of reference. The faster a clock moves, the slower time passes according to someone in a different frame of reference. Time is a prime conflict between relativity and quantum mechanics. Time is mired in malleable and relativity, while assumed as background and not inobservable in quantum mechanics. To many physicists, while we experience time as psychologically real, time is not fundamentally real. At the deepest foundations of nature, time is not a primitive, irreducible element or concept required to construct reality. The idea that time is not real is nonsensical. Albert Einstein said that time is the only persistent illusion. Einstein's theory of special relativity proposes that Time is an illusion that moves relative to an observer. An observer traveling near the speed of light will experience time with all its after effects much more slowly than an observer at rest. Physicist Hawking proposed that time itself begins at the Big Bang, implying that time is self-contained and that all universe could come into being with no help from outside forces. Our subjective sense of time seems to flow in one direction, which is why we remember the past, not the future. Stephen Hawking claims that our brain measures time in a way where disorder increases in the direction of time. We never observe it working in the opposite direction. I think time is feeling.